Hey everyone! Today I'm going to tell you more about transporting stop loss in case when executing take profit orders. In general, the model system has general settings that are applied by default when creating each position. To configure them, you need to click on the gear icon in the menu and select a model in the, in the list, change the settings and click the save button. There are also individual settings for each position, which are set individually for the opening position. They are placed on the same block as the order opening form. All you need is to switch to the desired tab and edit the settings there. So let's have a look on details of SLX model setting, which is responsible for transpositioning the stop loss when the take profit is executed. Parameters, trailing mode. Let's have a look on first version, when stop loss is transpositioning on each executed take profit. We have opened long positions with four take profits and stop loss settings. Trend reached the first take profit and it is fulfilled. System is cancelling the current stop loss and creating the new stop loss on break even price with the order type fixed on SLX model. I'd like to note that the position price for long will move downward since this is the net break even for the current number of coins. That is when Adding or decreasing a position, the price will always move and you will clearly see where the break-even point is. Well, the price goes up and the second take profit is executed. System is cancelling the current stop loss and creating new with the price the first take profit was executed. Price goes upper and gets to the third take profit. System is cancelling the current stop loss again and creating new with the price the second take profit was executed. If at some stage the next take profit has not been reached, the position will be closed by stop loss. When the last take profit is reached, the position is closed. Even if the trend will go only till the first take profit, your position will be saved by stop loss, fixed on break-even and you're guaranteed to get profit from at least one take profit. In case if in transpositioning mode only one take profit is set, then system will fix on the stop loss on break-even only for once while executing first take profit. After achieving next takes, stop loss won't be transpositioned. Very important point. SLX works and independently from stop loss model and on stop loss position not necessarily has to be on initial position. So it is possible to open position only with take profits and while executing first take model will create new stop loss on break even. Okay, let's move on. In order type parameters, you should set which order will be used to create stop loss regardless to the previous stop loss types used in position. Now let's go in details about stop loss orders. Virtual floating is a limited order working as a bobber that constantly floats to the last in the order book with the specified timeout in the FL model settings. Timeout is set right here. Virtual market is a virtual order which will be executed in market at trigger price achievement. Stop market is a stop order placed in exchange which will be executed at the market when the trigger price is reached. Virtual and stop orders are not placed in the order book and are not visible to the other trading participants. Please notice that not the last ticker price of the coin is checked, but the last price of the order book to trigger the virtual stop loss trigger. This is to protect against sharp price punctures. For long position, it is the last offer price for sale. For short position, it is the last offer price for buy. Please make sure you notice that when setting virtual stop loss level. Let's change order type on virtual floating and press save. Now all new positions will be created with new settings. Now let's have a look at the position individual settings. In position creation general default settings are taken, but if you need to correct them only for current position, you can do it in order creation form. For that, you need to switch to the needed model. In this case, you need SLX model. You can see that your default settings are with your latest corrections. For example, 
For current entry, we will change the SLX order type settings to virtual market and take profit model settings we will make for take profits and create a position for one ripple in long and short. Which one will work faster? That will work because it is needed only for the test. To execute order, the take profit pricing chart can be changed. After position opening system has created real orders and they can also move on the chart. So, in one of the positions, a first take profit was executed and stop loss transpositions to the breakeven price of the position. Please note that the breakeven is calculated taking into account entry and exit commissions. If the trend continues and the second take profit is fulfilled, the stop loss will be changed to the price of the first take profit. If it reached the third take profit, the stop loss will be moved to the price of the second take profit, and so on. I hope it is clear. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video helped to understand the intricacies of the system and in the future you will be able to use the panel even more effectively and efficiently. If so, put your thumbs up and also write your commands and questions about the terminal in the commands. Good profit to you all. See you soon on air.